Welcome back. I think we're making soap again today. If I'm correct, we have some soap base, two different colors. So this is going to be a marbled one. We did a couple of the shaped soaps and those were a lot of fun. But this time we're doing green apple marbled soap. So we're going to mix the pink, mold it, and then do the blue, let it set. Oh, we're going to mix it together, let it set, put it in there, da, 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 freeze it, and then cut it. And then you can actually use it. I let my daughter play with them. Um, this series can be a little messy with like the bath bombs and stuff, but overall it's pretty cool. They did give us a spatula, a thing to cut it. These are the tubs, the tubs, the feet for our bathtubs. And then that goes with it. We have our mixing bowls with one lid. That's just so the other one doesn't dry out while you're mixing. Um, we have a loofah. This is a wooden case to put them in, a tray. What else do we have? Oh yes, the mold. This looks like the exact same one as before, so I'll probably just reuse my other one. And then we have our green apple. Two green apples, so one for each color. Very cool. I will clean up and we'll get to making this one. Okay, so we're gonna make the pink one first. And I do have a semi-dirty uh, pink bowl over here from one I made previously. We're just gonna use that, because who cares? All right, now we're gonna take one of the fragrance bottles, dump the whole thing in there. Ooh, ooh. Oh, I just went to smell that. Yeah, it smells like apple, but something like hit me in the back of the throat. I mean, I don't know what this is. I would assume it's like regular fragrance, right? <laughs> if, I, if we're allowed to be smelling it and it's scented. Oh, that made me cough. Okay, so we're going to mix this together. It's going to start clumping. Eventually it kind of will feel like cookie dough or play-doh and then you could mix it with your hand and then it says to put it in the well to leave it in here with the lid closed but i'm literally mixing this right away so i'm not going to put a lid on it that's silly but this is nice and clumpy so i think i can pick it up and kind of knead it at this point it's a little messy, as you can see. It's pretty mushy. Then I'll have to rinse off my hands, I guess, before I do the... Actually, it doesn't even matter, because we're mixing them together, aren't we? So I don't need to wash my hands in between. But I'm just going to knead this a few times Again, very much a Play-Doh consistency. I could really smell it now. Okay, I have it in a ball. We're just gonna set that aside. Now let's use this bowl to do the green one. Typically I collect the entire series whenever they come out with something, but I don't know that I will for the spa. I didn't last time because I was kind of annoyed by the bath bombs, but I wanted to try out some of these shaped soaps this time because that was different. Oh, whatever this powder is, oh my gosh, it flies way far away, gets all up in your nose holes. I'm inhaling it. So hopefully whatever this is made out of, that's safe because yuck. Okay. I literally had to step away for a few minutes. I still feel like a cough coming on from whatever this stuff is. Okay, so I'm gonna pick this up in just a second. Then we're gonna take both colors and knead them together. Okay. 
think last time I didn't mix it too much because I didn't want it to turn a different color. I wanted to be able to see the the marble effect. So try to do that this time. Maybe I should roll it, flatten it maybe. Let's go ahead and merge, merge them together. Definitely doesn't give you much guidance when it comes to that. Okay. Is the pink in the inside? I feel like it's very green. I'm going to try to move it like that. Okay. So we're going to push it way down in here. Put the lid on it to kind of smush it down in there. And then we're going to freeze it. There we go. Where's my lid? I lost it. I'm going to just turn it upside down and do it. I'm actually going to take a peek at it and see. I think it's all the way down. I think it's fine. I was supposed to let those colors sit for five minutes, but I don't think that's a crucial part of the step. Again, I guess we're about to find out. So we have that in there. Now it says to freeze it for 10 minutes. So I'm gonna pop that in the freezer, then we will slice it. This is fresh out of the freezer. So we're gonna pop it out of the mold, which is very easy to do because it's nice and cold. The marbling turned out pretty good. I like how it looks on the checklist. It's like there's no way possible that you could make it look like that. There's this very exaggerated looking. So we're gonna put it in here. I'm gonna try to make sure it's equal kind of. So if you put it all the way to this end, you're gonna have the tiniest bit left over. Okay, where's my slicer? There it is. Let's go ahead and line it up and press it down. So that was really easy. So I'm gonna remove that, line up the next one, and push it down. This is pretty satisfying. And then when you leave it on the counter, it will get like a hardness to it, it kind of dries. All right, let's do two more. Uh oh, I wasn't completely lined up there. Mainly even. Some are chunkier than the others. How cute. Yeah, some are way thicker, but that's all right. That one's sticking. So the end pieces look cool. Lightly marbled in the middle. I'll show you an up close. That's what they look like. And then you can set them in the tray. I think last time I basically had essentially two rows and then I put oh yeah there we go they're even I thought I had an extra one but I don't so that's pretty cute the soaps are definitely my favorite from this series um, sugar scrubs uh, eh, they're okay my daughter just made a huge mess with them and got the sugary stuff everywhere. So that's why I'm not much of a fan. And then the bath bombs, some I got to stick, some broke open. So <laughs> um, it is fun though, and probably a lot safer than messing with resin, even though I don't know what exactly is in some of these things. It just feels safer if you have smaller kids who want to make these um, themselves. It's very simple. So out of 10, I'd probably give this like an eight very cute. I think it turned out good and I like the color combination. If you want to see me make some more of the Hello Kitties and some more of the spa series, I'm doing the bath bombs next. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.